Hmm? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Just a little travel weary is all. Looking forward to finally getting out of here, you know? Still beating yourself up about your dad, aren't you? <sighs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. But that's not what I was just thinking about. Oh? I never did tell you how I ended up hanging around with the Snake Eyes, did I? Not properly. All I know is you had a falling out with your dad and ran away from home. Getting to Cislodia almost killed me. Once there, though, I actually ended up joining a resistance organization, believe it or not. Of course, before long, someone ratted us out. And we were ambushed by the Snake Eyes. I'd never seen such brutality. If I hadn't surrendered... La? I don't know why. They let me live. They made me watch as they butchered my friends right in front of my eyes. I still have nightmares. I hear roars of Zoogles as my friends scream. The snow stained red with blood. And all the while, those bastards laughing. I thought that with Ganabel defeated, I'd be able to put it all behind me. Turns out that was a little optimistic. I was terrified they would kill me too. So I wound up betraying the memory of my friends and getting my old man killed in the process. I wonder if I'm any braver now. What if one day I panic again and end up running away like always? And leave us behind? You really think you'd do that? I hope not. But who's to say what I'm really capable of? Ah! I found you! Something wrong, Rinwell? How very perceptive of you! When I turned around, you were gone, so we came back to look for you! Maybe tell us next time you decide to stop? We need all our manpower to face these Zoogles. Jeez, okay. I can't help it when nature calls, can I? Nature? Ew, gross! Here? Let's make tracks, shall we? I hope he makes it through this. You invited him along. He's your liability. He's Zephyr's son, Shion. What was I supposed to do? Just leave him? Fine. Just don't come crying to me about it, alright? I've got enough deadbeats slowing me down as it is. <laughs> Why did people dig this path so far underground? Maybe it was too dangerous on the mountains for them to traverse over them. So, you're saying that before Dana was conquered, Danans made this so that they'd have a way to get through the mountains? If I had to guess, they might have even lived inside of these once upon a time. Not like there's any way of knowing now. Not after all our history was lost. No, it wasn't lost. It was stolen from us by the Renans because they thought slaves didn't need it. And because keeping it around would have made it harder to control us. It's not all gone. Look at that over there. What is it? It looks like a broken piece from a dish or something. Probably. It's true the Renans erase a lot of our history. But if we look hard enough, I think we'll find there's still plenty of it left. But first, we have to win the freedom to even look for it. We'll win it all right. Then we'll reclaim our history. it out there. I 
I guess Messia is the first place we met. Hala. Yeah, I was a snake eye and you were a silver sword. Who would have thought we'd end up on the same team? You make an odd pair, it's true. You guys are the odd ones, running with a Renin. done. This walking up and down is a pain. Yeah, I wish we could just go straight through without all this hassle. On the other hand, the collapsed parts let you reach some places you wouldn't be able to otherwise. Now that you mention it, 
The ceiling's not gonna come down on us, is it? Get lost! Here I come! Wait. Now you see what I can do! It's over! Dragon Dragon down. Down. I never miss! You're Get more! Mega Ray! Get Get it. Astral energy! Say no more! Shot! Well done! Here I come! Blade. First strike! Yeah. Yeah. Funny. yeah, you're looking funny okay. too. Uh, right. Well, I should probably do something about that. Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. What's this thing? Hey, Law. Back when we left Sisladen, you remember how you said so long as you don't give up, there's nothing to stop someone starting over? Yeah? Well, I think you did just that. You've set out on a new path despite what happened in your past. Uh. Besides, you're not the only one fumbling your way through things. You too? It was your dad who taught me to fight. Back at the start of all this, I knew that so long as I followed him, I wouldn't end up straying. But it was also your dad who told me the importance of becoming my own master of searching out the answers within me. I always figured I would one day. But at the same time, I had so much more to learn. When he died, I suddenly found myself rudderless. Sh sure, our immediate goal is to defeat all the lords. But then what comes after that? There's no one left to point me in the right direction. It was then that I realized, no matter how much I fret about it, the only thing I can do is fight. Ren in brutality isn't going to right itself. So that's what I'm doing. Fighting. And in the meantime, I'll try to figure out my next move. Right now, that's about all I can do. You really believe you got what it takes to win this? Against all the odds? Yes, I do. Or at least I want to. If I'm being completely honest, sometimes I'm not really sure whether I can or not. So what if we're still figuring stuff out? If we do it together, then we can support one another along the way. Is there anything so wrong with that? No, I don't think there is. I think I get it now. We may not know what we're capable of, but we have to try all the same. Having another one of your secret meetings? Don't tell me you were taking yet another bathroom break. Well, we were just engaging in a bit of brotherly bonding. Isn't that right, Alfin? Yeah, that's right. Hmm? Fine then, suit yourselves. Hey, I think I can feel a breeze up ahead. I bet the exit is real close. Finally! Man, it's been too long since I felt the sun on my face. When I get in a tussle, I go full force right at him. Whoever makes the first move wins. I do have to admit, it's quite the spectacle to watch you charge in and go to town on someone during a battle. Yeah, it was actually my old man who taught me to fight that way. The more I lay the beat down on some baddies, the more fired up my fists of fury get. Z Zephyr taught you? Wow, I guess you really are following in his footsteps. There's nothing wrong with being so focused on offense, but the enemy always fights back at some point. Eh, as long as I don't get hit, it's not a problem, right? So what you're saying is you're too weak to take a hit. You're not exactly one to talk. Mm. 
what were you two talking about earlier? Earlier? Oh, it was just serious guy talk. You know, the kind that girls don't get to hear. Really? Don't mind him, Rinwell. It's just... Maybe it is a little difficult to talk about in front of women. Difficult to talk about? Okay, now I really want to hear it. Unless... It's not the creepy sort of guy talk, right? No! Okay? It's not creepy! Okay, okay. As long as you're fighting fit, you can talk about whatever you like. Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? We're finally here. Elda Menencia, the land of green. The place certainly lives up to its name, doesn't it? Yeah, just feel that breeze. It's like night and day compared to Calaglia and Cislodia. Unsullied fertile land, as far as the eye can see. That's beautiful. <laughs> what? No, oh, nothing. Just... I was thinking the very same thing. That's the realm capital in the distance. The city of Vicent. A word to the wise before we continue. Elda Menencia has produced more sovereigns over the years than any other. Uh, Xion! Guess we should probably follow after her, shouldn't we? Hey, you all right, Law? Yeah, fine. I was just thinking how Dad would have enjoyed this view. All this green in one place is... incredible. Anyway, let's get moving before we start looking tasty to monsters. Is he going to be okay? Eventually. That's a wall he'll have to overcome on his own. So if I remember right, there are six elements of astral energy, and darkness is only on Rena, and light can only be found on Dana, right? Right. I only remember because my parents drilled it all into my head when I was little. How did we find out about dark astral energy in the first place if it's not on Dana, though? Beats me. I couldn't tell you how or when we figured out that sort of stuff. I'm sure there's other stuff we've forgotten along the way, too. Yeah, I bet. And then we forget that knowledge was even forgotten at all, and it's back to square one. Exactly. That's why we need to take good care of what knowledge and artifacts we still have left. You really have a thing for old stuff, don't you? Well, I don't know that I'd call it just a thing. It's also something that helps me feel connected to our world. Connected? It's nothing. Forget I even mentioned it. I should have guessed that there'd be no way he'd understand. How could he? Huh?
Yes! Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey! Can't be. <sighs> nice. Very well.
Maybe we should have left them alone. Thanks, Xion. Why are you thanking me? I hate camping out. Out of our way! We've turned the tables on them. There are still Seven more left. Right. Who wants no to time to hold back. We got fire. Now I've got this. All yours. Wow, that was a nice move there. I know, right? Bet you couldn't do it. So it's a grab here, thrust the left leg, then use the right arm to leverage over. Stop memorizing my move! It'll be a breeze. Get in, get out! Like it could be worth something. I'm impressed how well balanced this thing is. Why do you keep staring at me, Xion? Just, what is that wolf on your shoulder? Oh, this thing? I love it! I got it off a street vendor for just 10 gold! I don't know if that's something to brag about. Hey, ten gold's a bargain, if you ask me. Because it wouldn't sell otherwise. It serves no practical purpose. Honestly, I'm surprised you paid ten whole gold for it. Shut up! But the detail is so lifelike. I think you made a good choice, Law. Really? I have no idea why you wear it over your shoulder, though. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool. Seven! Eighty-eight! Eighty-nine! Oh, shoot! What the? Is the enemy attacking? Uh, sorry about that. You're not hurt, are you? Law? What on Dana are you doing? What am I doing? Training, obviously. 
I found these nice and heavy rocks that I decided to strap onto my arms, but I guess I didn't tie them down good enough because they went flying. So you were doing improvised weight training. <laughs> you and your crazy ideas. I can't help it. If I'm not training, it's easy for me to get anxious. Well, that's fair. Actually, I remember seeing you practicing your forms for some time when we were camping the other day. Yep. No amount of muscle will do you any good if you don't stay on top of your fighting forms. It always feels good when I know I'm still sharp. Sounds to me like you have too much pent-up energy. Don't train so hard that you wind up hurting yourself, Law. I promise you, you're already perfectly strong as it is. No, I'm not. You never know what we'll run into out there. You can never go into a fight too prepared. And that's the truth. Besides, I won't rest until I know that I'm stronger than you, Alfin. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. Well, I don't plan on letting you beat me. Hmm. Maybe I'll add some weights to my sword and practice swinging it. That should help out. Uh, Alfin, are you crazy? <laughs> You're right. This does make for decent training. Good call with the extra weight law. Right? Now you get it? Since we've already come this far, what do you say we have a little one-on-one -on -one with our rocks strapped on? Hell yeah! I'm down for that! Just give me a second, I'll be all ready to roll! Okay! I'm all set! Let's do this! Take this! I'm just getting started! Ah! Our camp is completely wrecked! Go. You two are cleaning it up. Yes, yes Shion. Shion. This should definitely keep you guys full. Rinwell, mind if we chat a little? Hoodle, come here, sweetie! Woo! Good boy! What are you doing? Uh, it's flying practice. Hoodle doesn't really like to leave my side, but if I don't make him spread those wings every now and then, they'll start to weaken. It's important he practices. Also, I'm pretty sure he put on some extra weight. Oh. Probably because everyone keeps sneaking him snacks when you're not looking. I knew it! I thought there was something fishy going on. Oh, it's really not good for birds to be overweight, you know? Oh, really? Ah, uh, I'm sorry, Rinwell. You were feeding him too? You haven't been giving him anything he can't eat, have you? I'm pretty sure everything I've given him has been okay. Just to be sure though, why don't you tell me what he can't eat? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Is something the matter? No, no, not at all. It's just, for a really long time, Hoodle was the only friend I had. So, on the one hand, it makes me really happy to see everyone be so accepting. But on the other, it's a bit of an adjustment sharing him, you know? Every one of us can see that he's like family to you. I can promise no one's trying to ignore your feelings or anything. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. I'll talk to the others about it later. Hoodle, let me know if you sense anything. Another day, another gold.